Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood website reviewer here and welcome to another video. So everybody needs a website these days, right? Maybe some people need it more than others, but basically everyone could use having a website. Funny thing is, if you use the right tools, a personal website is really easy to create and super cheap to set up. So why not make a website for that project, to that portfolio or CV? You can use a personal website for basically anything. In this video, I'm going to show you some awesome examples of personal websites so you can get some inspiration from these examples and use them to your advantage. As always, for each website example, you can find a link in the description that shows the setup they've used and the tools these websites use are a great setup for a fast and professional website. So definitely check these ones out. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, our first website we're going to take a look at today is Kristen Lee Calligraphy. Now, before we start and we take a look through some of the little tabs here, the thing I love most about this website is that it is concise and minimalistic. I'll show you what I mean in a second. You can see that we've got not much going on on the homepage, which works. It doesn't need to be super fancy. This is a personal website for a personal service. It doesn't need to be overzealous. Uh, or have too much going on. In fact, less is more sometimes. So even if I click on services, you're not going to be confused about what this is about. It's very obvious. It's about calligraphy and I love, and it's almost essential having calligraphy based text on the page. So we can see, seeing as it's a calligraphy based service. Uh, but again, it's the, the use of white, simple colors. It keeps it very simplistic, very minimalistic. I know exactly what I'm getting here with Kristen Lee Calligraphy. There's no confusion. And that's one of the best parts about this website. Um, look, she uses some really attractive images as well. I love that. Again, just sort of scrolling through these. This it, It's to the point. I like that. If Kristen Lee created this herself, she's done a great job because, again, it's to the point and it's concise. I've mentioned on previous videos that uh, sometimes having some white space doesn't have to necessarily be white, but some space on the website allows the audience and the viewer to sort of fill in the gaps. And I think Chris and Lee's done a great job of this. So this is a great first start for a personal website or a personal service. It's not difficult to create something like this, but it's still very effective. So well done to Chris and Lee. Okay, our next website we're going to take a look at is Levon Biss or Levon Biss. I apologize, Levon, if I'm saying that wrong. This is an incredible website purely based off the fact that these images are spectacular to say the least. I mean, I'm not a big bug fan, but this is quickly turning me into a bit of a fan. This is some incredible imagery. The fact that you open on the homepage and it's not straight away giving you a whole heap of text saying, this is what I do, I'm a photographer. You can pick it up pretty quick that this is what they do at a very, very high level. Um, so it's a great or inspiring start to the website um, and you can tell that their work is nothing short of amazing. So let's take a look. So let's have a look at what they do. Let's go straight to the about here. Um, so British photographer covering a wide range of photographic genres, but the real passion is for nature and photography, which you can tell. Um, let's have a look through the featured, the featured images here. I mean, these are amazing. I mean, I'm not going to be one who's going to be getting as close as um, Levon obviously did to these sorts of animals, but uh, I love taking a look at these. These are amazing. Look, the the use of all these high-tech photos, um, high-quality images just creates a very, very high-quality feel to this website. Again, it doesn't need to be too much text or writing. There's obviously an about page that you can go and see, um, but really you can have a look through all of these images and know what you're going to get. Um, so look, it's very modern, um, not so subtle style. Look, this is beautiful here where we can start to see, um, yeah, some of his, some of his work and you can purchase some of that if you're into that sort of stuff. Um, the website's certainly designed very, very well. Um, yeah, it's, oh, this actually takes you to an, to another website as well. So look, Levon Bist done a, um, done a great job in accentuating, highlighting the artist's skill, which at the end of the day is what this website is all about. So a bit of a different approach, but I love this one very, very much. So well done, Levon Bist. All right, we're off to a good start. Let's keep going. Yes, we're on to website number three, and that is Lena Stenkula. Lena Stenkula, I could be absolutely saying that terribly wrong. I'm so sorry. Uh, but Lena is an artist from Hamburg. 
And this is her website. And straight off the bat, you can tell it is incredibly professional. Len is obviously very, very good at what she does. And if she created this website, then done a great job. If someone else did it for her, then they've also done a fantastic job. But anyway, I'm, I haven't even moved off the homepage yet because I'm engaged by it, which is always a terrific start to a website. So let's take a bit of a scroll through. We can have a look. Amazing images, incredibly engaging, lots of different colors, which works really, really well. I mean, these images are of the highest quality. Let's find out and see if we can do a little bit more. Oh, I kind of like this, uh, this little tab here. You kind of work through the tabs. All right, all right. Let's move down to the about and see. Ooh. Yeah, definitely still interested. Let's take a look. I'm going to read more. I am clicking on it. All right, so maybe that's something we can... Oh, here we go. This thing will just keep scrolling down. All right, there we go. So, uh, Lena gives you a bit, of a bit of a background about her. Great. I love that personal touch on the background and kind of get to know what Lena looks like. Look, this is an amazing website. Uh, I think this is absolutely incredible. Obviously, this is a visual-based service, so it makes sense to have lots of great images on there. Um, so amazing 3D art, love that. Love the typography on here. Very unique design style as well, if I could summarize in a few different points. So well done, Lena. I am impressed. All right, the next website we're going to take a look at. I apologize in advance again for my pronunciation. I love choosing um, websites and and people who have rather difficult names for, for me to pronounce, but let's have a go. Uh, I think you pronounce, you might pronounce something like uh, Michael de Graff, Michelle de Graff. I don't know, but either way, I'm impressed with your work, uh, Michael. So <laughs> let's dive in and highlight what's most important, which is the website. Um, so designer based in the Netherlands. What I love most about this website is just how he showcases his portfolio projects in a really minimalistic, but yet funky way. Um, it's very inspiring. Obviously, he's got a lot of credibility, a lot of experience, and you can you can see that. It's minimalistic again to the point and, go, and goes straight down to being really concise at the bottom with getting in touch. Just looking at this, there's no question about the quality or the professionalism of the artist. And again, this highlights the fact that you don't have to have a website that's too much. Sometimes less is more and just let the work speak for itself. So um, I love this one. I love the images. Um, really nice portfolio examples. Really clean design. Nice and concise. So um, well done to you, Michael, Michael, Michelle. I love your work. I apologize. I can't say your name properly, but absolutely love your work. Man, I really messed the pronunciation up on that one. Okay, our next website is Wendy Jew. And when did you get so clever, Wendy? It was terrible, terrible pun. But Wendy, I am very impressed with this website and I want to show you guys exactly why that is. So this is a website based out of uh, NYC. So Wendy is passionate about creating digital experiences, an artist who wants to show her work. And this is a beautiful layout. I love this website. I'm not sure if Wendy created it herself or not. I'm going to assume that all these people that I'm showing you in these website examples created their own. I'm going to give them the credit. And even if they didn't, they can take credit for it. Um, but what I absolutely love is it's a very unique web design. You can see on the side here, it's uh, a little bit different, which I really like. But it also is very clean. And that's really important as well. You would have noticed from all the videos that have made so far and will continue to make, I will always emphasize that clean website designs are always the most effective. Being convoluted is no good. But Wendy does, uh, she does that incredibly, incredibly well. Looks very professional, um, nice layout, very clean design. You can obviously see um, that she's done a lot of work. Let's have, let's just click on one of these for the, fake, for the sake of it and have a look. Yeah, great. And it takes you to an example of her work. And there's no doubt that Wendy's very successful and the website only enhances and highlights that even more. So well done to you, Wendy. All right, we're halfway there, half to go. Okay, we're taking a look at Michael Schmidt. Now, Michael is a developer based out of Germany who has created one of the most minimal portfolio websites I think I've ever seen. There is really almost no text at all on this website, which is very unique and... Kind of, well, here we go. Here's a little bit of text, but if you look through, there's a, that's about it. It's kind of straight to the point. A lot of these ones that I've showed you so far in this video have been straight to the point. Now, this one has some cool animations. It's a really cool design. Uh, fun, dom fun domain name as well. I don't really highlight that too often, but that um, that's a little bit different. Kind of like that. 
and yeah, this is it. This is the website. It doesn't need too much more. You know exactly what um, you know exactly what you're getting here with Michael. Um, have a look at some of his uh, experience, which is obviously professional work there, and get in touch. So, look, cool animations, nice clean design, very simple. Again, little fun uh, domain name there. So, well done to you, Michael. Thank you very much, Michael. Let's have a look at David. Okay, David Milan. Now, David is an art director and a lettering artist. Um, as you can see here, designer, lots of big, bold Im um, images and colors on the homepage here, which kind of jumps out at you, which I think is really cool. Boom. There you go. Just like that. I love this. There's been some websites that I've taken a look at that have really captured my attention in this kind of style. This one is next level. I mean, pardon the um, semi-French that's going on there, but look, it's the animations, the colors, it really jumps out of the page at you and obviously uh, that's what David was going for. So he's done a great job. Now, this is a really long homepage. If I'm looking over the bar here, we're just going to keep going and going. It just keeps going on and on and on. Um, but hey, if you've got a lot of work to show, then go for it. So obviously a lot of time went into to developing this website and putting all of these reference images in there. And that's what David was going for. Let's take a quick look at these tabs on the top here. There we go. A little bit of... Uh, little bit of info about David. He keeps this part a little bit more succinct and to the point. Um, so look, I love the logo as well. Like that's very, that, that kind of that paintbrush style that really works for David and his style, as you can see. The homepage is full of really powerful images, which I love. I think it suits David's style to the ground, as you can kind of tell already. Heaps of portfolio examples. So there's no question if you're visiting David Milan's website that you're going to see some of his previous work. You definitely are. You've got a whole page of them to scroll through. Um, but then keeps it nice and concise in the about and in the contact as well, getting in touch. So, hey, this is a really great personal website and well done to you, David. All right, we're on the home stretch. We've only got a few to go. Let's keep it moving. Okay, we've got three to go. And third to last is Frederick Wagner. Now, Frederick is an actor. And this is an actor website portfolio profile. This particular website looks like a movie poster all on its own. I mean, look at this. This looks like something you'd see at the cinemas before going to the premiere. This is amazing. Um, this is the homepage. There's nothing more on it. You can't scroll anywhere. So it kind of captures your attention straight away. You're like, all right, what's this guy done? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at his tabs here. Let's have a look at his filmography. And you can see heaps of professional work. And I love how this is set out. I'm not going to click on any of these links. You can take a look at yourself, but um, it's all sort of subcategorized as well into his different styles of work. It's obviously very experienced. If I take a look at the photo tab, you can look straight into some of his professional stills work. Uh, let's have a look at the CV. It's obviously staying nice and updated as well. Look, this is an incredible website uh, design. It's very unique compared to other actor websites that I see and, and other creative website personal examples. But this is a great one. I mean, Frederick's obviously getting a lot of work and I'm assuming his website's helping him do that. So um, love the full screen image here. Love the professionalism that it, that it shows. It looks like a movie poster all on its own. Look, this is an incredible website. And no matter what industry you're in, you can take some inspiration and some tips and tricks from Frederick Wagner's website. Okay, we've got two to go. We're moving on to Marcus Erickson. And this almost might take the cake. He's one of my favorites that I've shown you so far today. Marcus has outdone himself. Again, I'm going to give Marcus and all the all the people in this list the credit of creating their own, whether they did or not, I'm going to give them the credit. But Marcus has truly outdone himself with this uh, website. The graphics, the animation that comes up on the homepage, you could sit and watch for ages, all on its own, um, which is an amazing. Obviously, the photographer knows how to engage through his work, but he certainly translated that into the website as well. Before even knowing what Marcus does, it's pretty clear that he's a very experienced creator and photographer. Uh, so uh, Marcus has done a great job on this one. The motion graphics are absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah, look at this. I mean, this is really unique. It's, it is a very professional website. I mean, anyone who knows Keanu Reeves, whether he knows him or not, or has him on the website, is a winner in my eyes. Who doesn't love Keanu? Um, but I really like that the fact that this changes color scheme as you go through. That's incredibly attractive and keeps it very engaging the whole way down. 
This is an amazing website. Uh, any, no matter what industry you are in, take a look at this. Go and spend some time. Whoop, bit of nudity. Let's scroll past that. Let's keep it PG. Um, go and take a look at this website purely for some inspiration on how to create something that's a little bit outside the box, but still ticks all the boxes in terms of layout, engagement, attractiveness, simplicity to an extent as well. This is an amazing website. Uh, well done to you, Marcus. I'm absolutely in love with this one and I'll be coming back in some of my own time and checking out your work and keep up the great work, Marcus Erickson. All right, it brings us to our last, but certainly not our least, and that is Dominic Krauss, domkrauss.com. Now, Dominic is a coach, uh, which helps create a clear vision for you and what you're looking for, um, so a bit of a personal life coach. Now, Dominic focuses on some one-on-one coaching, so obviously, this is all about working with Dominic, and that means that you need to have images of yourself, which Dominic has done here. Without that, it's like, who are we working with? You know, if you're If you're wanting a coach, you want to know who that person is. I love the fact that Dominic's used lots of personal images on here uh, and they're really warm ones as well. And that's complemented by the color scheme. Every color gives a certain feeling, a certain vibe, and it's really integral with colors that you choose one that supports your, your vibe, your personality, your brand. And I think Dominic's done that really well here. This, this color scheme creates a really nice warm uh, vibe for us as the viewer. So complemented by the pictures of Dominic, which is obviously really important. And what I love as well, I'm going to highlight is the testimonials on the homepage. Sometimes people just throw the testimonials in the tabs up here and it kind of gets lost. But having them here as we scroll through the homepage gives validity and credibility to Dominic as well. Um, and that's that's obviously really important when you're working one-on-one with a coach. So this is a great website. This is not hard to create. Again, I'm going to give Dominic credit just like all of our other Uh, people on this list credit for creating their own. This is not hard to make. You can do this very easily through many different platforms. Um, So look, Dominic's done a great job in this. Um, Nice, cool little animations. It's simplistic, but it's, it's to the point... We certainly had a great list of websites in this um, in this list, and Dominic is no exception to that. Done a great job, I'm sure. She's very successful, and the more eyes that come to her website, the more work she's going to get because she's done a great job um, with everything on this page. So, thanks for bringing us home um, with a great website example there, Dominic. And there you have it, guys. Some amazing, fantastic, brilliant personal website examples that are not too difficult to create. You can definitely do it on your own. And those examples are from people in all different industries from all parts of the globe. So it just shows how effective and how important it is to have a website these days. As always, hope you got something out of this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.